stop is like so amazing, like so many emotions. Yeah, I can't say a lot to it. I can't get it myself yet, I guess. Um, the Boulder problems were like, some were really cool, others weren't quite my style, but in total, I guess they fit in my style. <laughs> and yeah, I love the little jumps, especially on the first problem. Um, and the last problem with a bit of crossover, creepy. Yeah, it was nice to climb. Yeah, well, it was really kind of strange to flash three problems, but in total I expected you need to have four problems for a podium. So first problem, yeah, I came out, just enjoyed the crowd, happy to be in finals, then flashed that one. It was so like motivating and I knew I was a step further, a step closer. Then second problem was not quite my problem. So I couldn't manage that one. I got the bonus hold in a couple of tries. Then third problem was like, I did not have a solution at all how to climb it, but I flashed it again. I was like, what's going on here? <laughs> and then last problem, flash again. I was like, I couldn't believe it. Like it was amazing just to be able to climb boulders in final and then flash them. Just great. It's the best you can do, actually. Uh, well, my last final is back, like I guess two years ago. But I placed seventh and eighth all the time last year, so I'm really happy to manage to be in finals again and even win the World Cup. Like, yeah, probably just because I was already satisfied with my climbing today and just came out relaxed and just wanted to climb. I guess in Munich I will just give my best again and I like Munich really much so I just can hope that it's enough and otherwise I'm happy with this year. <laughs> well I'm gonna head back home to Switzerland for one week and then further to South Africa to Rockland for <laughs> one month bouldering outdoors so I guess the preparation might not be the best for a World Cup but it also can loosen up and help you get better in some things you're Maybe not as strong as normally.